I mean, there's really two big reveals is that first of all, that the, the quirk was truly meant for someone who was quirkless because the power for, um, the, the one for all power was just too, is too damn strong. Yeah. Like that's, that's pretty much what they're breaking it down to. Like the reason why, um, Deku was able to unlock the, the fullest potential of one for all is because he was quirkless and yeah. they, they have the great analogy of, of the cups and pretty much it's like, listen, you give it to somebody with a, with a, with a quirk, like the, the cup was overfilled. It would, it would overflow. And then mm-hmm. you give it to someone without a quirk. It, you know, it would level out just right. Yep. And they're, you know, they're talking about pretty much all might was the first one that they've ever seen with that. Um, to be able to really like hone and possess this power and be able to truly make it his own. And then now passing it to Deku here is just like, you know, Deku just pretty much has now taken it a step further to where now he's even has the ability to unlock the quirks of the uh, of the past, yeah. um, which is really cool because it makes uh, it, it makes a lot of sense. I like the and it makes a lot of uh, it, it makes a lot of sense, especially when you just look how powerful the goddamn one for all is. And we've yeah. always known it. I mean, shoot, even when Deku first got it first or second episode. Where he goes, where he does a Detroit smash and punches the damn robot. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But, but his whole body breaks. Yeah. So it was like little things like that where you're like, okay, like, obviously, this quirk is something that is, like, you can't even use it 100%. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't even go 100% with this quirk. And is it was always crazy to me because I'm like, damn, like, why is it so strong? Like, is this strong? And now for them to go, like, yeah, it really is this strong. The fact that, like, even if you already have a quirk, like your body can't even hold this. I mean, the other big reveal is that they've come to the conclusion that Deku really might be the last holder. Yeah. Yeah. And that's crazy. That's really because, crazy. It, it, and it's not even, it, it, it's really for no other reason than that there are more people in the world. Like, there's you know, more having people a quirk, with quirks. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not, like, it's rare to find a quirkless human being. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, and and Deku is just one of the you know one of the what didn't they say like three percent of the world doesn't have a quirk or something yeah and wild it, and shit like that yeah and it, they I think they say it like every episode like majority of the world like ninety seven percent of the world has quirks and I'm the only one with quirkless power you know what I'm saying like or with no power and I think with that coming into play here it's like well damn like. You could be the last person, or you could risk your life or somebody else's life to give them one for all and have them do the same exact thing over and over again and create like a whole new cycle. But that would still put somebody else at risk. And knowing Deku, he won't do that. He's not going to try to risk somebody's life just for to have this power, especially now knowing that, you know, people with quirks could break themselves when they have this power. 